He is best known as the man at the helm of the Kenya Wildlife Service. Born in Iten Town, his is a journey whose path completely changed with a nudge in the right direction. It was while in his initial school years at Serguit Primary School that his uncle pointed out that he had a bright future ahead. Little known to him at the time, this was the beginning of his keen interest in learning. Prior to that, it's like, for me, school was like a joke. You know, you go to school, you do a nurse, you do a test, it looks simple, you come number one, but what the hell is that? You know, it's like, you know, nothing, nothing, to, nothing to write home about. But see, when somebody sees your potential and says, I think you can do more, okay, your mind then starts opening. So that was a critical uh, tipping point. Earlier than that, you know, my mom was, was a nursery school teacher uh, in the ten town. And you see, nursery schools are run by local authorities. So it's a small thing. And um, so therefore, I was exposed to learning much earlier. With his lack of exposure beyond the village walls in Iten, little did he know that there lay a different life from what he was used to at home. I remember in 1976 there were these Kenya power people bringing in. So one of the things then when, when I reached, uh, that, that was 76, I was in Standard 5, then was, I want to be an engineer. That was the first thing. Initially it was a teacher. Then now when I saw this Kenya power people bringing uh, wires, pylons, what? I like, yeah, I think I want to be an engineer. At that time, St. Patrick's Iten was the best school in Keio Marquet, and every child in his village aspired to go there. But change was at hand, at least for him. He made his way to Nairobi for the first time in 1978, and as he puts it, it was a game changer. He applied for a slot at Starehe Boy Center and returned to his small village ready to sit his CPE. So when the results came, I was at the top of the school uh, in that year. Uh, and then, of course, it was 31 points out of that six. So I met the headmaster and I asked him, do you think this Max can take you to study? He said, I don't know. Let's wait. If you get an admission letter. But I was in Patrick's this year. If it fails, we can do St. Patrick's. So, uh, of course, a letter comes from Stare Pop. And just when you thought high school does not have that much impact on you, well, listen to this. Stare then changed a lot of things. Yeah, it really, it really changed a lot of uh, my perception. He took his lessons from high school both in book form and life lessons and now applies them in his day-to-day -day running, translating even to his managing of KWS. Jackie Maribe for My Journey.